inside the forward 50. Doughty gets it across and thumps it out of bounds. Uh, Michael Doughty keeps winding back the clock, you know. Um, I just told him I was going to call off his retirement. You know, he's, he's playing some great footy, you know. He, uh, he's really holding that group back there together. Michael Doughty has uh, announced his retirement at the end of the season. Um, hopefully our season goes for a couple more weeks yet, but um, we thought we'd catch up with a few of the boys just to get their feel on, on what he means to them. But what would you give up to get Dogger to stay? Uh, look, probably he's my best mate, so uh, not, not too much. I think uh, you know, he's going to go out in a high and I reckon uh, that's, that's definitely the way, the way to go out. I'll tell you what, if Dogger plays on, I'll give up my beard, I'll shave it off. <laughs> you just have to put your head out the window and it'll blow off. I'd say don't bother coming back mate, someone's already taken your spot. <laughs> uh, what will you miss most about Dogger? You're a very good person to ask this. Yeah, yeah me and Dogger are very good mates. Uh, I guess uh, we we get into the young fellas a fair bit, um, so I reckon we're going to miss the, the banter, so I might have to get you on board and we'll uh, have to annoy a few of the young boys. Um, oh, I love Dogger, I love just him being around the place. He's, he's an oldie but a goodie. Um, as you said, he's Bant is always good and um, yeah, we sadly missed. <laughs> what will you miss most about Dogger? Um, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, eight years at the club long enough with him. <laughs> well, I should have been more honest too. How will Brent Riley cope without Dogger? Probably the same The question I just answered before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, good one. I don't, actually don't know how you're going to go, mate. I'm just waiting for your retirement speech too, because I don't think you can go on without him. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Salt and pepper, love that. I don't know. They, um, they, dry, <laughs> they dry each other when they get out the shower, so I don't know what he's going to do once dog is gone. Uh, Brownlow medal, who's your tip? Uh, oh, I want I want Tomo to win it. Um, that'd be great. But uh, um, I don't know how, how the votes are going to be, be, be polled, but... Uh, you know, it could be someone like Dane Swan who might, might come up and get some. He gets a lot of votes. So, uh, but you know, I want Tomo to win it. Uh, Patrick Dangerfield or Scott Thompson? Well done, mate. Very biased. Dangerfield? <laughs> He'll win it, won't he? Oh, I would have thought so. <laughs> what uh, What would be your first line of your Brownlow acceptance speech if you were lucky enough to win it? Uh, I'd have to thank my parents. Yeah, I'd have to thank my parents for all, they've, all the work they've done. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'd have to, I guess I'd just thank my teammates for giving me the ball. Yeah, nice man, nice. I've already got it nutted. Um, Bernie Vince taught me everything I know. <laughs> that's oh, that'd be, that. Nah, that's correct. <laughs> well, at least you're being honest there, mate. Uh, which crow will be all Australian for the first time next year? And you can't say yourself. Uh, I'll, I'll go Bernie Vince, I reckon you'll be the first time. Daniel Talia. Oh, okay, don't worry about me then. I just said you, I thought you'd say oh, me. I thought you got it this year. Uh... <laughs> uh, okay, sorry, Radar. You've got no idea. Um, Brent Riley, stiff to miss out this year. No, he definitely wasn't this year, was he? No. <laughs> the selectors got it wrong, didn't they? I thought it said, might have said squad here. <laughs> Nah, definitely says all Australian. Oh, well, we. Uh, I think, yeah, sorry, mate. I'm waiting for you to say something. But I think that's it. Thanks for having me, mate. I mean, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Cut. That's it. <laughs>